Has this ever happened to you? When there is a person who's doing something and you follow them I was on Instagram or on YouTube. And every time they post something, you click right away. Because watching them makes you feel kind of jealous and kind of wanting to do the same. And the more you watch their content, the more unhappy you become. It happens to me all the time. <laughs> but basically, this is called unrealized potential. When you see someone doing something and you're like, when you have this feeling or this voice inside your head saying, it should be me, it should be me doing that, I can do it better. This is basically the feeling that gets you onto the next level. And I had this feeling before I started my YouTube channel, I was watching other people making videos and I was like, I could have done it a lot better. So basically it can be black and white. It is white when you're like, oh, I like what this person is doing. This is definitely the direction I want to take. Let me try and, uh, you know, maybe take the same steps or maybe go into that direction. And then you start working and then you become productive with this. The black version of this feeling is when you follow a person in a way that it's becoming toxic. So every day you start hating them and yourself even more just because they're going higher and higher with their achievements. And you're like, it should be me, but I won't do anything. And this is when it's black. So in this video, we're gonna dig deeper into psychology of why you're not starting. And uh, I'm gonna share a lot what I've learned in the past six years. And actually, I've learned a lot in the past year because I've been working with a therapist. I'm gonna share all my thoughts and hopefully that by the end of this video, you will have enough motivation to actually start or unfollow people who you feel are toxic to you, who make you feel bad about yourself and less productive. Watch this video up to the very end and I hope it's gonna change your life a little bit, a tiny bit. Let's do it. Step number one is being super honest with yourself about what you really want. Now, this is when you really need to sit down and reflect, I want to start this channel because what? Do I wanna be popular? There is one strategy. Do I want to make more money? Then it's a completely different strategy. Like You really have to dig deeper and uh, ask yourself why you want to do this. And sometimes people start a startup just because, oh, everybody else has a startup and I want a company to call myself an entrepreneur. So basically you are starting a company because you want to be recognized as an entrepreneur, but recognition is 2% of a startup life. 98% is getting back to people's emails and hiring and struggling <laughs> basically on daily basis, solving problem on daily basis. So, and this is something you need to be really upfront about. We're talking about, you know, I want to start a channel just because I want to be famous. Now, do you know that every famous person gets hated every single day? Would you be okay with that? If yes, then go ahead and do it. But it's just super important to set the right goal and to set the right expectation. Let me just give you a few examples of goals. I want to be popular. I want to make $100,000 a month. I want to express myself. I want to be a leader in my own niche. And again, this is where you have to be completely honest with yourself because you won't be able to achieve a goal unless you're super clear about it. Let's dig a bit deeper into reasons why you don't start. And the reason number one is you actually compare yourself to other people and you're like, oh, but they already raised their Series A. I don't want to start a company and compete with them. I would never be able to make that much money as they're making. The problem here is that you're comparing yourself with people who are already in the point B and you're in the point A. And you don't really know how much time it took them to be in the point B. So it makes no sense to make this comparison. And even coming up with an idea to start a company, that might take several years. And what we see on the surface is, you know, a news article that somebody started a company and raised their first round, but they would never tell that that person iterated through several ideas for the past three years. And this is actually the first one they kind of feel secure about and kindly feel confident about. So never ever compare yourself to somebody else. It is okay to get inspired. It is okay to set milestones based on somebody else's success. But telling yourself, oh, I'm not gonna start because she already has 100,000 subscribers and I'm just starting from zero, this wouldn't work. You only compare yourself with your previous results. The sponsor of today's video is Hired App and they make hiring 
and getting hired a lot easier. Now, a lot of people do not start looking for a new job because they think it's gonna be too time consuming. Hired app allows you to text back and forth with the company CEO so you can learn about the company on a personal level. Hired app was created to make the process of applying for a new job easier to avoid back and forth in emails, HRs, and other third parties involved. Hired app allows recruiters and candidates to chat directly. Their powerful AI algorithm would recommend suitable positions and candidates for both parties. What you need to do is download the app, upload your resume, and their AI will start looking for suitable positions for you. Most candidates and CEOs hear back from each other in 12 seconds. Hired app guarantees that there is no spam, scam, or other safety hazard on the app. All information provided by the users is protected and verified by the platform. Oh, and you can also use Hirec to look for remote jobs. You just need to select this feature in the app and it will look for remote jobs for you. If you're looking for a job with Hirec, you can get hired 10x faster. Just imagine, today you're looking for a job and in 24 hours you have one. Make sure to download Hirec app to start something new today. The link is in the description. Thank you, Hyrex, for making this video possible. Let's get back to the video. There are three components to starting something. First of all, believing in yourself, and this is something we've talked about already. Second is acting, super important. But there is also a third component, which is knowing how the system works. Because if you're like, oh, I want to start a business, oh, I want to start a YouTube channel, that's cool, but how do you get there? So understanding system means understanding what equipment you need, how to make a video go viral, or if we're talking about a business, understanding how to sell through a website, how to launch Google ads, what works for a company. So don't start by dropping everything you have now and switching to a new career. Start with actually doing some research, talking to people, and understanding the game. You don't start playing Monopoly without reading the actual rules. You take your time and read the rules. The same with anything you start in your life. You take your time, you read the rules, you start believing in yourself, and you start acting. Another cool story that I wanted to tell you is actually about focusing on what you like doing and your strengths versus looking at other people's success and trying to copy what they're doing when it doesn't actually work for you. Very interesting example. So when we started LinguaTrip, uh, we didn't have money for marketing, but I saw a lot of platforms and agencies marketing themselves by spending thousands and tens of thousands on Google AdWords. And I was like, how do we compete there? We don't have that money. And I was like, okay, maybe we should try creating videos. And I think we were, we became the largest agency in some countries just because we relied on YouTube while nobody else was doing that. And it is very tempting to look at someone who is big in your niche and be like, oh, he's doing this, this and that, I probably should do this. But the thing is, if you just compete on top, you miss the trends that are emerging. And emerging trends is your chance to get big. Now, a lot of creators are not focusing on short videos. And I'm like, come on, people become superstars in two months after starting posting on TikTok. If you're focusing on like, oh, Graham Stefan does this amazing type of videos, I should just focus on copying him. This would probably get you nowhere because you can't be another Graham Stefan. But if you're like, oh, the platform just launched another format and you know, people are still exploring it. Maybe it is my chance. So when you're just starting out, look at emerging trends, look at what you're passionate about and something that you can be different at versus just trying to copy whatever works for other people and companies. Now listen to me very carefully. You're gonna get hated by people. You're gonna hear that something you're trying to do is not gonna work out. Stop doing this and uh, stick to your routine or whatever you used to do. And it's gonna happen all the time. Please don't give up. And this is coming from a person whose every action, like every bright action that I make, it's getting so much feedback, both positive and negative, and people will look for ways to tell you that you're not a real entrepreneur and this is not for you. People will find ways to tell you you're not professional. And it's gonna hit the hardest when you're actually not happy with yourself, when you actually feel your weakness. So it's super important to act from the strength. Like, for example, I'm 100% sure that content creation is something that I love. And when I do something using this feeling, it doesn't really matter what people say online. 
because they will find ways to hurt me. But being able to act on my passion is the most important thing and I want you to do the same. One thing that I know for sure is that those people who are judging you know nothing about your business and don't have the whole understanding of your life. But if you listen to them, if you're like, oh, okay, they think I'm not a good entrepreneur and I'm gonna fail, you won't start a company and in three years, you're not an entrepreneur, they're happy or they're out of your life, but you haven't acted on your dream and they're not responsible. It's just you who's responsible for your actions. So this is super, super important. What you should understand about people discouraging you and hating you is actually going back to where we started. When we see someone who is doing something that we really wanted to do, but we're not doing that, we start to kind of hate them because imagine like three friends, same background, and somebody starting a billion dollar company. It takes a lot of courage to support that friend because guess what? If in three years he's a billionaire and you stay the same and you had the same background, you know, that kind of feels that you've lost if you had the same ambition. So we just feel safer when everybody around us is doing something predictable. And so whenever somebody's starting to shine or starting to do some things that he hasn't done before, we just want to make our environment safe again and we start to kind of, you know, if we feel insecure about ourselves as well. If we are happy with our lives, we would just encourage everyone around us to chase their goals. So remember this whenever you get a bad comment about something you're just about to start. Guys, I hope this video inspired you to start something new, to stop listening to others, to stop hating people for doing what you want to do, and uh, to start acting. Thank you so much for watching this video up to the very end. If you're not yet subscribed to Silicon Valley Girl, hit the red button down below and I'll see you very soon in the next videos.